HTML widgets. Magic Model Analyst introduces a powerful mechanism for integrating third-party interactive HTML widgets into diagrams for simulation. A set of predefined widgets is already available in the UI widgets library. In this video, you will learn to use the UI widgets library, customize widget appearance, and use widgets in UI mockups. Before we begin, Please note that this functionality requires the Web Server for Cameo Simulation Toolkit plugin, which is free of charge. Let's start with establishing a specific simulation context that reflects the structure of the system to be simulated. Specifying simulation context is important because it prevents any direct impact or changes to the original system architecture. Now let's load the UI Widgets library. To do this, go to the File menu, select Use Project, and Use Local Project. Find and select the UI Widgets library, then click the Finish button. As you can see, the library contains various HTML widgets like Slider, Tank, Gauge, and others. Now you can integrate some of the widgets into your system architecture. To do this, create an internal block definition diagram and select to display the properties you want to connect with widgets. Next, drag the gauge widget to the internal block definition diagram of the simulation context. As you can see, the widget property has been created. Name the widget property, then use a binding connector to connect the system value property to the port of the widget. Try to connect a few more widgets to the system by following the same steps. Drag a widget to the diagram, name the widget property, and connect it to the value using a binding connector. Now let's run the simulation configuration, whose execution target is the simulation context block. Widget parts in the execution target are automatically generated as HTML files. Moreover, HTML widgets are displayed directly in the diagram. You can see runtime values in the widgets and change them if a widget supports value changing. Widgets come with a default style. However, you can customize the properties of any widget. Let's customize the gauge widget. First, you need to create an instant specification for the widget. Right-click the widget, then select Tools and Create Instance. Now select which properties you want to customize and enter the new values. To apply the changes to the widget, you need to set the new instant specification as the default value of the widget property. Before running the simulation configuration, you need to regenerate the HTML files to apply the changes. Now run the simulation configuration. As you can see, the changes are applied to the widget. Widgets can also be integrated in UI mockups. After connecting widgets with system values, you can easily use them in UI mockups. Simply drag the property, whose type is a widget, to a UI frame or group box panel. Now let's run the simulation configuration with UI. As you can see, the widgets are displayed in UI mockups.
Thank you for watching.